Good morning and welcome to Working Horse to the Gym. Here Brenda, my wife, is out brushing Earl. Hopefully we'll be working him a little bit later on today. So we have an awful lot to do today. Today we're going to start our day out <coughs> with Ken and Lady. Here we have Ken. And I actually did a gave him a haircut earlier this morning. So I am happy with that. I had given the other guys a haircut a few days ago, but he was outside so I couldn't do him. So we're gonna hitch Lady up with him and do a few things and we'll show you that. I cuffed up. So here we go with Lady and Cam. This team here is kinda getting to be William's team because he's the one that's driving him here at home. And he's doing great with them, and it's great to be able to get some odd jobs done while I'm in the woods. So, I actually talked in my last video, and I hope our audio is coming out good today because it's very, very windy today. Anyways, I, I talked in my last video about what I'm doing with Lady and what I'm not doing, and I said one of the things I'm not doing is doing backing up with her. Now... Today I'm going to completely contradict that saying and I didn't really exactly mean it that I don't want to back up with her. I just don't want to have to have her back up hard. In other words, you know, pushing something back, oh, that is hard to do or backing up. I mean, so all we do with her as far as backing up is I back the cart up, of course, empty cart. And today I'm going to back up the empty wagon and then William is going to be taking the horses, oh, and backing up the trailer to get some hay for the cows. We're not using the scoot that much and when we do use the scoot we're not going to do any really backing up with that unless it's in snow because that backs up kind of hard. But uh, as far as backing up these light load situations it's, it's just not a big deal at all. I've shown this many times before in these wagons but having this sliding hitch is really nice. Now I can just back up and it'll drop into a hole right about here and then it'll be it'll be good to go. It just allows me to to get hitched on easier because the horses don't have to back up and I have, don't have to hold the the hitch in hand and have it just perfect. Back. Back back. Oh. IG Windy days and making videos are almost impossible without a uh, audio with a, a wind thing on. It kind of helps keep the wind down. Fortunately, most of the stuff that we'll be doing today is kind of what well, would be a little bit protected from the wind. So it should be a little bit better anyways. So we're gonna come down in here into the corner of my barn and I want to back this wagon into the sawmill and I will I'll explain in a second why we're why we're doing this. So, ah, uh, yeah, oop, ah, 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 oop, ah, 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 ah. Careful, 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 ha, 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 careful, ha, ha. G. Oh. Okay, I want to explain a little bit about wagons. Most of the time when you're using horses, you just have a, well, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but if you have a cart, when you're backing up, it's pretty straightforward. You back up and you steer the horses in such a way. But when you have a, for example, a two-wheel cart, which is what, We'll be showing in a few minutes when William takes the hay out to the cows, he'll be having a two-wheel cart. You back that up differently than you do when you just have a cart. 
and then a lot of people will have a wagons with a long tongue on it and the horse is hitched directly to the front axle of the wagon and you back that up differently still. Actually, I gotta think you kind of did back that up the same way you back up a, a wagon, I mean a cart and a trailer. But when you have to back up a four wheel or a six wheel wagon, when you're using a cart, it changes things terribly. It's, it's kind of the same as when you're using a pickup truck and yet it's not because of the pickup truck or tractor, you have four sets of wheels, I mean four wheels, two sets. So you steer a little bit differently than you do with the horses. Cause I just have one set of wheels, meaning my cart. So I'm going to attempt to back this wagon into the barn. As I go, I'm going to probably very poorly try to explain how I'm doing it. And I'm telling you to me, to me anyways, it's a difficult thing to do. I have terrible time trying to back up this four wheel wagon. I do do better with the horses than I do with the truck and or tractor, um, but it's still a challenge. So as I start backing up, I might get just barely into the building and I say, it might say forget it. I'm just unhitch it and I can push it in by hand as soon as I hit the concrete very easily. But until that point, I've got to get it in place. So I am going to attempt, probably poorly, but I'm going to attempt to do this job and try to explain as I'm going how I do it. So I'm going to straighten up just a little bit more. Calf step. Careful. Oh, the farther out I go, the more back and I have to do to get in. So now I got to turn my tires, otherwise it's going to walk right off into the side of the building. So I've got to haw them over. So what's happening is I'm doing a lot of hoo. I'm doing a lot of hawing and geeing. Back, back, yep, G, 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 back, G, 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 back, yep, back, yep. So a lot of times what happens, I get back here and I, I got to stop and I got to think, okay, I need to turn those tires, but which way do I turn them? I want to, so I'm going, it's, it's always kind of the, the opposite of what you would expect. So ha over here, ha, 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 boop, back, 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 boop, G, G a bit, G, boop, back, ha, 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 ha. Oh, okay, so I'm, I'm way off center. I wanna get my wagon over here. Now I probably could do it just by continuing doing what I'm doing, but I decided I'm gonna pull ahead a little bit and set myself over and try and get it into a better spot. Ha, a little bit, Keep that. Three. Ha, ha, oh, how about? How about? Now I'm purposely not doing, Brenda, I, I am, I'm purposely not doing this perfect the first time just so you don't think I do it perfect every time. <laughs> that was a joke, that was a joke guys, that was a joke. Not here. I basically never do it right the first time, but. G, 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 uh -huh. Ah, G, 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 G over here, G, 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 ha, 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 G, 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 that, G, 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 oh. At this point here, it'd be so easy and so simple just to pull the pin and push it back by hand because it is a concrete floor. It does roll really nice, but I'm stubborn. I'm not gonna do that. Hip ha 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 
Hop, G, G, G. Hop, là. Bah. Oh. Okay, this is exactly where I want it to be if it was straight back. But I can't go straight back because I can't back up anymore. I'm going to run into trouble. If I could, if I had room here, how oh, back? Oh. If I had room here so I could swing off to the right, I could do it, but I don't have the room. So I'm going to have to pull ahead one more time. A little bit. Oop, gee. Gee, gee. Oh. Ah. 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 Oop, gee now. Gee. Ah, gee. Ah, gee. Oop. Step up. Step up. Step up. Gee. Pa. Oh. How about? Gee. Ha. 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 Oop. Gee. 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 Back now. Oop, ha. Ha a little bit. Ha. Gee. Ha ba. Ha. Ba. Ha. Ha. One last try. Gee. 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 Oh, we did it. Pretty sad, long-term job, but I'm telling you, if there's a ton of people that can do this first shot every time, I'm, don't get me wrong. Oh, but I must say, if you think you haven't, if you've never done this much, and if you think you can do it really, really good, you should try it some, sometime. It's very humbling to do, because you'll find out more than likely very fast it's a lot harder than it looks. Anyways, we are done with this. Um, I think I'll just leave the wagon here for right now because William is going to take the horses with a, with a trailer and get hay. But I'm going to saw here later on and I'll explain why I backed this wagon in here at that time. So I pull the pan and then I'll let William take over. Okay. Oh. Where you at, William? All ready for ya. Um, watch out for Ken, because this wind, it's making him a little bit spooky. Okay. But go ahead, get the wagon and back up over there and we'll, you can get loaded up and take it out. I'll get it. I'll meet you out there. Okay. Huh? What do you need? Oh, okay. Yeah, go jack it up. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go over there. I'll help you. I catch that. The trailer fell down. It's a really heavy tongue trailer. After it's hitched onto the cart, it makes no difference at all. But uh, it looks like it fell off its block, so. William's taking a jack over to get hitched on. Gee. Damn it. Oop, gee, bye. Bye. Gee, 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 gee. Oh. That's good, I think. Bye. Bye. A little tippy, huh? Yeah, it is. Bye. 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 Oh. Bye. Oh. You can just leave the jack there. Oh. 
Here. Forget about that. That pops off, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna get the rope so he knows, so he can tie him, and then he'll do that job. I'll, I want to go up in the hay barn even and inspect the hay barn out myself. I don't get up there very often because William throws down most of the hay for me now. Okay, we got a fork up there for you? Yeah, we gotta get in the Okay. As you can see, we're not gonna take any chances. We tie the horses this way. I'm gonna climb up the end. So what we're doing is getting loose, broken bales that are here. And there's a lot of it. We still have a lot of hay here. Can't see, I'm sure, very well. But what William's doing is just getting loose hay and throwing it down. So while he's doing this, let's run down and see the pigs. People have asked us quite regularly, what does William, how does William get to work here? Does he walk or does he bring his horse? Well, as most of you guys know, he does bring a horse. And here's his horse right in here. It's kind of dark in here. But uh, yeah, he's got a little buggy. And we'll show you a good close up of his buggy sometime, I'm sure. Who knows, maybe we'll even go for a ride with William in the buggy and let you see that. Hello, Cheryl. Looks like we got company, so I gotta run over and see who's here. Oh, it's our good friend, Reed. It's our good friend Reed here for a visit, and Cheryl! Hey, Hi guys! Have some peanuts! <laughs> Brenda's in the barn working if you need to talk to her. No, we're just dropping a key off. Okay. I just left the key for uh, church school, okay? Do you want to be on, on video? Do you, want to, do you want to be? I don't mind. Okay. okay. You say you don't mind? No. Okay. Okay. All right, very okay. good. Stay out of the wind today, 60 mile an hour. I know, I know. <laughs> You guys have a great day. We'll see ya. Okay, see you. Thank you. Okay, William is loaded. So he's going to head down and feed the cows.
and they're off. But let's go and see how Brenda's pigs are doing. I say Brenda's pigs because she's actually the one that takes care of them. And uh, let's see how they're looking. <coughs> Brenda, why don't you tell us? Brenda, why don't you tell us about your pigs? Well, we've showed these pigs before, but this is Mary and Esther. And um, I found that, I think I found the sweet spot with them. We know that this pen is not as big as we'd like it to be. We should have made it bigger. But um, what seems to work in here is not putting a lot of bedding in here. I kept putting bedding in and then they mix all, everything up and make a huge mess. But now I don't have much bedding in here and thankfully it's not a very cold winter and they sleep down there and I don't think they like the corn cob laying on the corn cob so they push everything down this way and um, I don't put any corn cobs down there um, and then I never see them laying down actually they're always moving around they're very active pigs but anyways and we feed them over here in this corner and I I've been splitting up the grain because this girl right here Esther is a hog and um, actually Mary seems to be catching up. She's a longer pig. And I told, I asked Jim to come and check them out because I wanted to see what he thought of them. They look good. They look great. How much longer? <laughs> longer. Oh, I thought they were like good. Oh, no, no, no. And he, <clears throat> this is Randy. A little Randy, sweaty from hi? his ride down in. Yeah. Ride down this but morning. I um, give him a little teeny piece of corn every day. And he doesn't mind being here next to the pigs. Actually, him and Junior, Junior is the other horse of uh, Williams, they, they um, take turns. I like Randy better because he's more friendly. William likes Junior better because he's better on the road. But anyways, this is Randy. Okay. <laughs> well, let's head on to the next project. Okay. So while we're coming right by, Brenda, I want you to show you cows because you actually feed them also and talk a little bit about them. Well, we just have these eight young stock, and I just, we've been feeding them all different kinds of round bales, but this one is almost to the core, so when it gets to the core, I just knock it over and give it to them, and they, they like that. So, I don't know, they seem to be happy. They can go in the other pen and have some fresh air and look outside and stuff, and they have a um, watering trough over on the corner, so they, have uh, all the hay and all the water that they want all winter long and they seem to grow pretty good i think skippy keeps them in check he is in there all the time can you show him he's in there all the time fooling around with them which he could you know get a swift kick and that'd be the end but you know what are you going to do i think they kind of like to play that's that herding dog instinct in him because if he is part um uh, let's see the dog. Um, blue healer. Blue healer. It, it's a herding dog instinct. So anyways, yeah. they're looking great. Soon they can go out. <laughs> so here comes William. I can see his buggy over there. Sometime I'll give you a close-up of his buggy, but I can see he has, he has this little trail that hitched to it. And that's because probably he's going to get a small load of hay to go home with. So William is done with his horses. Okay, here we are in the sawmill. And I wanted to explain why we pushed, go back the wagon in here this morning. William is over at Edging Lumber right now. We were able to get a little bit of this lumber sawed up. And what we're doing is William is actually pulling the boards off the mill kind of backwards here. And then as he pulls them off, it hits this roller here and it goes up onto the wagon or he puts them up on the wagon, stacks them up here in the different widths of 12 inch stuff here 10 inch stuff 8 inch 6 inch and we'll fill this wagon up and then we'll take it outside and we'll have to unload it with a skid steer and put it into piles 
to be shipped because we have a place up in oh it's about an hour from here that will be buying some of our lumber and uh yeah that's what we're gonna do so we'll show you how this works as we progress on this lumber i guess i ought to go help william finish up this pile of edging why don't i edge it look at this gun We'll work together, you work at that end, I'll work at this end.
Okay, that edging's done, and you're probably wondering why we're dragging all of our edgings back this way to put onto this pile. Well, there's a good reason for it. The wind is blowing so bad today that if we were to open up that door, we would have so much sawdust blowing in our face, and it'd just be miserable here. So, I have a pile outside where we normally put the edgings that we just can't get to today but we do have to open up the door so i can get that lumber out of here and this pile of slab wood is full so we gotta band this up and get this out of here we definitely have our work cut out for us let me know if you like some of these sawmill videos we may do a little bit more here even this spring with all these logs we have to saw so you guys have a great day we'll see you next time